Becky and Jean, talk to us today while, while, uh, while you're here, please, about the various um, projects that are going on, state projects that you do. As um, member, a member, the hospital is a member of the Arkansas Hospital Auxiliary Association. Okay. And that organization has state programs that we all support. And one of them is called HELP. Okay. Um, this is a program for cyclists of any age. Um, for it's children or adults? For children or adults, okay. motorcycle riders, any, any kind of sure. um, bike. Two wheels or two wheels with an engine. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it's important, you know, that people wear helmets. Mm -hmm. And so this is a sticker that can be placed on the outside of a helmet so that if an accident does occur, the uh, first responders know that there is information inside right. the helmet right. um, that will tell them who this is and where they live and a contact phone number to right. be called. And I know those are also wonderful with the outside sticker. It tells, let's say there's a, an accident with a motorcycle and the car behind them stops and runs up, the sticker mm -hmm. will tell them, don't take that helmet that's off. That's right. And a lot of people don't understand that, so um, that's, leave they that They need on. the professionals yes. to um, handle that. Yeah, or they can make matters much worse. That's true, and we okay. don't want that's that. That's a great program. And it is a great program, and it's been, a lot, uh, been around for some time, yeah. but um, we're still promoting it, and... Good. Uh, hope absolutely. that we've made a difference. Well, and when you're out with, with um, especially kids with bicycles or adults with bicycles, you don't have identification usually with you. No, you don't. So that's why if you're wearing a helmet, you've got that information on the inside, um, especially if there's allergies that the paramedics would need to know about, anything like that. Anything so, like that. Yeah. Who to call, mom or dad, if it's kids. So, <laughs> and this is a free. Yeah, and this is a free program. Free program. Free. The, There's the, no cost yeah. for it. Um, now, how do you distribute that? How would that? Uh, I primarily have been leaving the stickers in the um, ER, but what I have been thinking about is that by the time someone injured comes in yeah. to the <laughs> ER, it's a little late yeah. to um, go the help route. Right. So we are going to start d distributing these stickers um, at various places, especially doctor's offices. Great idea. Uh, and others who are mm -hmm. interested could just call us at Volunteer Services and we'll be happy Perfect. to provide Okay, those. we'll give that number out a, a little bit later in the show and make sure people know that those are available for free, mm -hmm. that they can stop into the Volunteer Services offices at the hospital. And then we'll go ahead and um, let folks know on our internet site where the locations are that those are going to be distributed. Oh, that would be great. So we can do Wonderful. that as well. So, okay. So the, that's the HELP program. That's the HELP program. And you might tell them what that HELP stands for. Um, the HELP stands for Helmet Emergency Labeling Program. Great. Uh, and we also have individual brochures if someone needs mm -hmm. further explanation on that. So if someone's watching today and they want to say, oh, hey, I'll put those out at my business, they just need to call you. Just call and you'll and make sure they know. get some. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we've got the HELP program going. What else is a state project that you've got going? Well, um, we have just started uh, a new program, and it is called Look Before You Lock. Yeah. And it, it's sad to say that things like this happen in this day and time, but they do. Um, it's a program with prevention and safety tips to help parents or other caregivers remember that they have a child in the back seat of the yep. car. Um, it, you know, especially this summer, there have been many incidents yep. that we've heard about through the media, and it is a bad, bad thing, and it, I can't imagine how you would get over something like certainly, that. Certainly, certainly. So this um, is a brochure with the baby on front, where's baby? <laughs> 
Look before you lock. Mm -hmm. Where's baby? Exactly. Poor kids, my goodness. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Well, but we need to remember, and oh, absolutely. I don't think people understand how in the summer, how rapidly the heat um, goes up in a car. Sure. Um, and so many times when these incidents happen, the car is locked. Mm -hmm. And people who notice the child have difficulty. Uh, I heard of a case recently where someone literally had to um, smash the window mm -hmm. in the back seat mm -hmm. to get the baby out. And fortunately, um, yeah. everything and, turned and out right. And is encouraging that, saying, mm -hmm. do whatever it takes to get that child out of the car. Right. So don't wait. Don't wait Call for Call 911 that. and don't wait. And That's even right. even not in the summer, um, as, it, as, the, as it cools down, mm -hmm. a, a car will heat up quite quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and so we want it you, just to bring awareness to our community. Idea. Um, it's free. It's uh, got some great tips in there. Um, it tells you a little bit about, I, I think the heat ex exhaustion is in there as well mm -hmm. and, you know, expectations. And, and it's just trying to bring that awareness and, to our right. community. Just a reminder. Uh -huh. thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. We Absolutely. just want to prevent a tragedy. Yep. And even in colder temperatures, you know, if there's snow on the ground, a baby left in the car is going to suffer from that condition as well. Sure, so. sure. So they're all bundled up for the cold weather mm -hmm. from the house to the car, and then mm -hmm. if you leave the car running and the heater on, same thing. Yeah, So exactly. That's wonderful that you're bringing awareness to everyone here with both of these programs and that the state is um, encouraging. And once again, our wonderful auxiliary is out there is spreading the word, getting the word out through free information. So. Thank you. Kudos for you for that, that, ladies. What else is going on with volunteering? Well, we've got one other program that we're promoting, okay. um, and it's Alzheimer's um, uh, awareness and, huh. and, and some things that we support, especially through the Maruk Family Education Center on Aging. Do you want to talk about the Betsy Broil? Yes. I've um, heard Betsy Broyles, uh, who's the daughter of Frank Broyles. Coach. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The yep, coach that, that of the Razorback. Yep. If you're a Razorback fan, fan you, you know, know that who name. Yes. he is. Um, and her father and she wrote um, a book detailing how they um, tended for her mother when she was diagnosed. Oh, my. Yeah. And uh, now. Frank himself is experiencing problems, so she travels nationwide speaking to this groups. This is the daughter. That, mm -hmm. that, yeah. And we are fortunate because um, these books are not for sale. We pay for them, but they are given directly to the public with no expense involved. Oh, that's wonderful. So if you uh, go to uh, our Maruk family Education Center on Aging, uh -huh. those books are available, are available free of charge. And, you know, having known people sure. um, who suffered from um, this illness, it is a godsend. It, I absolutely. Can say. And she's also going to be here on the 28th That's of August. That's what I read. 27th and 28th. Mm -hmm. On the 27th of August, it's the annual. Fourth annual, I believe. Seventh annual. Se seventh, thank women's you. Health, <laughs> yeah, women's Health. Yeah, Women's Health Forum. What yeah. number are we <laughs> on? Yeah. And um, uh, Sponsored she will be by the Schleman Center. Center. Yes, and she's going to be one of the keynote speakers along with Barbie Graham. Um, but she'll also be at the Maruk Center the next day, or I'm sorry, in the Lagerborg oh. dining room because of the amount of people that will show up, but she'll be speaking the next day. So um, it's wonderful on oh, the 28th. She's, she's wonderful. Yeah. Um, and this is a great resource for anyone who is a caregiver to an Alzheimer patient. Mm -hmm. And so we, we feel very strongly about that. And so that's why the auxiliary uh, purchases the books mm -hmm. and we give them out for free. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. wonderful. Because the caregivers go through um, so much, mm -hmm. uh, even more than the patient. They um, really need the tips in order to right. cope mm -hmm. with what they're going through mm -hmm. because your loved one as you once knew him or her, is no longer there. 
That's right. And um, has changed in so many ways that the behavioral changes, the, you know, the, um, the night and day switching and, and uh, up all night and, you know. That's right. Sundowner syndrome, so you bet. So there's just so much. And I know the tips are in there on things they that are. you can do to help um, just make it a, a, a really almost intolerable situation tolerable. Mm -hmm. So. That's and that's great. what's so great about our community houses. They have so many great resources mm -hmm. uh, for our community right. that are free. All free. And we want people to utilize those. Yes. yes. And the Moroc uh, Family Education Center on Aging, right across from the Klein Emergency Center at the hospital, is uh, open Monday through Friday, 9 to 4. Mm -hmm. So they're there. So take advantage of the resources. So. Well, those are your state projects. Now, what's going on locally? Well, uh, you know, a couple of things I want to talk about, especially are our fundraisers. And uh -huh. our biggest fundraiser is our bargain box, which is our thrift shop. And we have one here in Mountain Home and one in Flippin. And uh, the one in Mountain Home is open six days a week. And the one in Flippin is open Tuesday through Saturday. Those are great resources for our community, as well as a great refund or, or a resource for uh, uh, and a fundraiser for our auxiliary. So I want to let people know that we have those there. We're always looking for donations. Their donations are tax deductible. And then when you've got about four hours to spare, <laughs> we would love for you to come and spend it with us at the bargain boxes. They have a great great time there yeah uh, they do great fellowship we we've got a lot of mission work that we're doing there as well so uh, the community is very generous to to us and we want to make sure we're taking care of our community as well so there's okay. a lot of programs and things that we do there as well let's come back becky we need to take a short break but let's come back and explore this further as far as uh, volunteering opportunities but let's get back to the bargain box both in mountain home and flipping when we come back right after this commercial message <laughs> 